Yesterday, I did a podcast about the abuse of power and the allure of power, which seems to lie behind so many of the scandals which are dogging our television. And, and now we've got another one with Hardeep Singh Kohli, who's been arrested and charged in connection with alleged um, sexual offences in the past, historic sexual offences. And uh, these are allegations over apparently non-recent matters, but several women have come forward in, uh, uh, recently to claim that um, Mr. Coley had behaved inappropriately towards them. Um, and th this is a man whose career was based on stand-up comedy and uh, television for children. And I find it extraordinary. I, I, I think he also did a celebrity master chef and a celebrity big brother but i think his association with reality tv uh, only invites uh, a lot of sympathy because you know reality tv messes with the mind uh, it's the way reality tv is made and it's the way reality tv controls people and makes them compliant and do things that other people suggest uh, so um i don't think his connection with reality TV tells us very much but uh, I, I think it's a I think it's a great shame that there seem to be so many people connected with uh, the mainstream media uh, with the BBC particularly with the BBC actually what is it that the, B, uh, the BBC has that seems to attract such odd people to it and uh, and, and, and then the whistle blowing starts and uh, we suddenly find uh, these people I mean he was also a prominent campaigner for the SMP and the vote yes uh, in the independence referendum and again the SMP seems to be dogged with controversy there has to be a point where the people who are elevated to positions of respect in our society deserve it and live up to the standards that we um, impose upon them. Maybe those standards are impossible to come up to. Maybe nobody can live up to those standards. But I, 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 I'm, I, I live in hope that there are such people. Sadly, most of them don't seem to be on our television screens.